How's it going boys and 3.5% Two days ago someone commented on my video Daddy Quasar can you please make a hot spicy steamy mutate deck while I'm touching myself I'm so close daddy tee hee Well okay maybe they didn't exactly word it like that but you know close enough And I did especially considering yesterday when we lost against that absolutely trash tier mutate deck so I couldn't let that slide so I made something that is honestly kind of the absolute pinnacle of mutate decks we're gonna be using a baby Godzilla as a base stone chaser Drake because he draws you a card every time you mutate on him Ivy a gleeful spell thief Three Scudder Swans, which are not mandatory, by the way, but they have a little bit of an oomph to them, so it's going to be a little bit fun, and a lot of things that mutate. Our main win condition is going to be Hemophage. A lot of people try to make your, uh, the creatures big through things like counter generations, but in reality I find that kind of a little bit weak, because it's really hard to get trample on mutate most of the time. Now it is obviously possible, but I find it a little bit uh, too hard and too cumbersome to do, so Hemophage is honestly the easiest way, especially when you have uh, so much draw and even protection through Kai's Ghost Form and Slip out the back, which is now 100% viable with Ivy and Storm Chaser Drake being mutate staples. And then we just have your classical uh, Chitter Harvester, a little bit Graveyard Resurrection, a Ram, Gem Grazer, just for some annoying enchantments, and you know, the classic things. And one Coven Whisper, just because why not at this point? 24 lands... 23 lands to be? Oh, what? Excuse me? Did I remove a land and not even notice it? Well, I guess that's fine. I can always remove one Scudder Swarm and add whatever colored land I, uh, I deem here. So it should technically be fine. Uh, but yeah, not gonna lie. A little bit unexpected here. Also, I lost one of these lands for some reason, which is strange. The hell has happened here? Did, 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 did I magically do something that I'm not aware of? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. Wanna know a secret? This is actually game three, but this is probably the first one you're gonna see. You know why? Because one opponent AFK'd after I, I did my turn two, and the other opponent AFK'd after I did my turn four. And those weren't even, even super big old mega giga chat plays. You know, they just went AFK for some reason. So you're not gonna see those games because they were boring. And now considering we have two wins, technically three wins in a row. Technically three wins in a row because before recording I won one game also. Now we're up against the Yorion. Again. Wow, every time you need to lose your 80, 90 card Yorion. Oh god, this guy will definitely have abs- you, Dude. Just, just let him draw three, drop three lanes on turn one or something like that. Wizards, everyone knows how screwed I am. Admittedly, pretty strong hand, but you know, us. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Now that's a game changer. Double Godzilla is definitely game changer because I will be able to drop a Godzilla. I mean. Did, did you expect a 19 card Yorion deck to not have every answer in the whole universe? This, the, the, wizards can probably make Yorion decks answer uh, the question why we exist, you know? It, it's not really that special if you honestly think about it for a second. Is there... Oh, at least there's not a second one. Jeez Louise. But anyway... Do I migratory great... Ho I think I bony boy him. Now he's probably counter No, he's removing the baby because Oh! Unexpected play Aleas. Jesus, jeez. Okay, okay, do it like this, do it like this. We didn't draw a land. If we drew a land there, it would also be amazing. But now he has a choice to make. Does he want to kill the Drakey Boyle or this thing? Also... I know some of you are in full panic mode because you're thinking Daddy Quasar is gonna leave magic. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. I'm staying. Because 
seeing what type of decks people play and explore it, seeing the absolute ludicrous level of nothing, pathetic in fact, that currently is happening in Explorer, I understood, boys, that, that you need me, okay? You need me to be here and guide this disgusting, pitiful, non-degenerate format in the way that it was always intended to be. I won't leave you, boys, until I destroy Explorer, until this format is completely completely done and don't tell me he's gonna be able to don't tell me okay of course instantaneous dude of all things unholy come on wizards come on you can't make this shit up huh you can't you can't by the way fix your animations uh, okay let's see how are we gonna do this well let's bait him with uh, the dark thingamajiggy oh yeah this is gonna be fine uh, let's see what I actually... What, what do I even do here? I mutate this and Kaya's ghost form, most likely. Kaya's ghost form has a very interesting interaction with mutate. Uh, because you get everything that was under it back. But you don't get everything neatly stacked in an already mutated creature. You get like 3 trillion creatures back. So that's a cool interaction. And uh, whatever cadaver, kajigger, kaboober. Noise. Okay, okay, okay. This This is fine. Oh, wow, this is really fine, huh? Uh, let's see. Wait. Yeah, I go for the protection one hundo. Yeah, protection out of one hundo. Because this is gonna hurt him a lot. And that's the way I like it. Kiss, kiss. Okay, so if we destroy this, he can draw. I'm not too worried about the Yorion, because if we're being completely 100% honest, why would I? I have Kaya's ghost form. Again, mutate decks currently absolute peak disgusting. You can just... Moshi Moshi! The hell is this? You're still not winning, dude. Relax. Look at this. Does it, does it look like a W for you? You're up against Quasar 77, the literal god of Magic the Gathering. People ask me, why if you're so good, if you're so good, why aren't you rank one? And that's such a dumb question. A king who yells that he is king is no real king, as we all already know. So me getting rank one would be completely useless because that would be just the same as yelling that I am already king. Completely pointless. Yes, yes, I know, by the way. Omega Humble, it is what it is. Admittedly, since this is a Yorion deck with a probably insta win condition, uh, so, you know, maybe not good. Depends on what my enemy does. He can always top deck uh, the biggest sauce in the universe and everyone knows it and that would be pretty bad. Maybe he doesn't, though. But anyway, uh, let's see. What do we want to get back? Ah, Kaya's Ghost Form. Yes, yes, yes. Why not? We have a mutate for next turn, so Kaya's Ghost Form, it's all good. It's all good. Also, he probably loses. Unless... Ultimatum. Didn't get it. Nice. Okay, we're playing against someone called Eduardo now. Wizards. I can't lose against someone who unironically calls himself Eduardo. Okay? This this is not a Mexican soap opera. This is this is real life. This is serious business. Sacrifice deck probably. Yeah, interesting. At least you know what? I have at the bare minimum Ooh wow, this is actually huge. If this doesn't get removed, I pretty much insta win here. Well, a forged loss for a forged twin, what a time to be alive, if it survives. Again, if it survives. Because that means I can uh, play Akai's ghost, uh, ghost Form on the Drake and on the Ivy at the same time. Which means absolute steamy fire, boys. But it's dead. Feed the swarm of all things unholy, you say? Well, that's very cute. Okay, do I want to risk it again? It seems like... Oh, no, no, no. It's turn 4. He's going to do some value play, so... Yeah, invert... Mm. 
This is a little bit risky. I honestly could have probably waited for five man. Oh! Hello there, Onichan. Damn, did not expect to see that. Really impressive, honestly. No one plays that card, for good reason. I actually want to make a deck around Thief of Sandy, because I love that card so much. It's so cool. So, yeah. Oh, not gonna attack, no thank you. Okay, next turn is probably gonna be... I... Wait, I don't block. Yes, I don't even block. Team of Sanity can do whatever the hell it pleases to do. I just drop the land, drop the Godzilla, and drop the Migratory Boy on it. And it's gonna be fa fa fire I'm actually gonna put this game in, f uh, in front of the actual game too, because this is just a representation when everything goes right. Oh, boys, you know it, I know it. Thief of Sanity plus Hell of the Host. I did it like a two years ago or three years ago, I think. Because Thief of Sanity is just such an annoying card. Look at the three top cards if you damage your opponent and pick one. And exile it and then you can play it, it's great. Plus the Thief of Sanity art is just mwah, absolutely mwah. Look at that. Oh, he had some serious choices there. Okay, uh, let's do it like this. Oh my god, I will be actually able to Kaya's ghost form again? Are you for real, real? Oh yeah, this, this, this is what you call a freebie of the highest magnitude caliber and whatnot. Uh, blue? Ah, eh, black, let's go. I don't know why I ch take the black lands most of all, but you know, I do it. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, sure. M keep the basic land. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But keep the basic land. Let's go for the double green because, you know, efficiency is not my thing. Also, should have maybe cast it on this one, but I think it's fine. <laughs> oh, look at this. Um, dude, dude four Kai's ghost forms. It, it, when it works, it just works, okay? When it works, it just works. The only problem is it's sometimes hard to understand which is your original Ivy. So, that's a little bit like... Moshi Moshi? That's extremely cute, not gonna lie. Watch this. That was strange, but okay. Uh, watch this. This is the interaction between Kai's ghost form and Ivy. Oh, wait! Uh, oh, right. I, so, this is the original one. Uh, you get back everything. Literally everything that you actually originally put on, on it. So, that's a little bit of a cutesy-wootsy thing. But it's fine. Okay. So, yeah. Good tokens do not get uh, do not get given back, but everything else that is not a token does get uh, does instantaneously get given back. So a, ve a very cool, very cool interaction. And now this is gonna happen. Let's get more lands. Literally, almost all lands have been gone, given gund out of the deck. So that's gonna be nice. Ah, uh, and we still have protection off the wazoo. What a time to be alive, boys. What a time to be alive. Gonna keep this, gonna cycle this a little bit later on. This is gonna be easy. He could... No, wait, can he even wrap? Hmm. Press X to doubt. I don't think this guy's wrapping. And almost anything that mutates and I draw it is going to be... Seriously? You're going to feed the swarm on Ivy like that? That's That deals 6 damage to you. This is why feed the swarm is danger zone. It damages you way too much. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's the cutest thing I have seen in my... Oh, protection. That's over. It's, it's just over. Yeah. The best part about this mutate deck is 100% the fact that we can actually just freely input protection without any problems. It's just great. You know, it is just literally great. Put in protection, no problem. And by the way, if you want, you can put in more basic lands, but... The deck is really good because it doesn't actually have that many things that need double lands, but still. 
Wizards, are you sure you want to give me so much power? It's a storm chaser into a migratory great horn. I'm not sure if you should give me something this powerful, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just thinking about your best interests. Because at some point you're gonna force me to lose like there's absolutely no tomorrow, so... <laughs> uh, that's gonna be sad. But until that point, I guess we can stomp on these magic players. Also known as losers. No problem, I'm just here for the truth. This was a swamp? Hey! Fuck you. Well, that's great. What, what, what a great start. Remember that time when you played in a historic format, someone dropped the swamp turn one and they didn't thought seizure? Yeah, neither do I for some strange reason. I guess... Good enough. But neither do I. Usually, by the way, there's a second one because reasons. Uh, imagine if I draw a land here. It's absolutely over if we drew a draw a land. By the way, I have the MTX for the alternative art for a, ch uh, a Chittering Harvester. I'm not sure if I like the original art. Very bad. Big bad, in fact. The hell is wrong with you? Okay, well, Ivy's kind of good, but... <laughs> Can I get a land, please? Also, Witherbloom Command. Didn't expect that. Which means that this is like a legit... Is this our first loss? Oh my god, yeah. Uh, we, get, we are getting a land screwed and our opponent literally just perfects us. He has the solutions to everything. He played a perpetual value generator. And that's not good. Hmm. Uh, gonna discard this. What did he discard? The Golden Goose. Jeez. Wait, so he had the Golden Goose and he never played it? That's strange. Oh, three colors. So you're telling me his removal was act... Graveyard interactions. Ain't that just amazing? Okay, do you think he's gonna... Minus two with the Liliana? That's annoying because I can get those things back, but I guess this is the play. So if he does nothing, I can win because I will be able to Kaya's ghost form on the Scuddery Boyo. And if that happens, that's good. If he can't deal with the Scuddery... Yeah, I kind of expected that. A second Liliana would be absolutely amazing here, wizards. A useless golden goose. Oh, and by the way, yeah, my parrot has recently decided to go absolutely ape shit or parrot shit, I should say. Every time I, oh, it crashed. D amazing. Thank you, wizards. What was the thing I remember hearing about this situation with magic? Why are there so many crashes in the game? Oh, hidden stockpile. That is amazing. Haven't seen that in forever. Anyway, let's protect our investments. But, you know what uh, you know what I heard? That, I don't know if this was true, but I, I think I remember a lot of people saying this. The people who made Arena, the engineers and the people who developed the game and uh, everything, something happened and they left on... He can exile it. God damn it. They left on mass. And, as I said, another Liliana. You know how I knew that there's gonna be another Liliana? Easy. Because that's simply the best thing in this situation. There's literally nothing better than a second Liliana uh, for me to lose the game. So, obvious things are obvious. Thank you, wizards, you know. V v very neat. I absolutely adore hidden, sto uh, hidden stockpile, by the way. In the early days of Arena, yeah, I can't play anything. That was expected. <laughs> Dude. 24% 24, 24% land draw ratio. What the hell is this? Investigate when there's sacrifice a clue. No one cares. Something happens. And now I can't do anything because he will just instantaneously... Okay, so he can counter my ghost form and this. This is the most ridiculously perfect... Uh, counter deck in the history of ever. Well, it's not actually that perfect. It's mostly kind of the thing like, uh, I don't actually have... 
anything to do here, you know? That's actually kind of the big, the, the big thing here. I just don't have a single draw that does anything. He minus twos. I honestly would not be even surprised if there's a third Liliana drop here. Is he gonna actually risk it? Oh wow, is he seriously risking it? That's a bit insane. Well, admittedly, he doesn't lose anything by attacking with the top tips. Well, with the servos, because you know this this thing is revolt. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield, create a one one. Also, he can just sag them to scry one. Yeah, I made a deck around this a long, long time ago. There's no video of it. And now, currently, honestly, the game is just two weeks. Seriously, what the hell is this garbage dumpster fire of an experience? Ah, uh, well. What can I actually play here that makes sense? <laughs> he just takes out everything amazing. And plus one, so... Yeah. I'm most likely drawing also something that I can... Oh, I can actually play this. That's a bit surprising. That's that. That's a bit surprising, not gonna lie. Not that it honestly matters, but a bit surprising that we got something that we can play. That's that's cool. Didn't expect that. Ooh. Let's see what do we want. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Let's go for black anyway. Okay, at least we thinned out the deck. Uh, I think... You know what I think that we're gonna draw here, boys? You know what's gonna be the thing that we draw? A land. That's what we're drawing. That That's what we're drawing. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Drop another Planeswalker. Drop a third type of Planeswalker so I know it's over. Oh, you actually... Wait, what? Whenever land... Oh my god! Oh wow, this is so dumb. Admittedly, it's kind of cool, but this is dumb because this is weak. A card that requires lands to play and then to activate two mana to actually do stuff? Uh, that's garbage. Let me just draw the land. Oh, I'm just already dead. Well, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, boys, you know what I decided? Screw it, I'm tired of it. We're, I'm gonna get rid of the Scudder Swan because, again, I kind of completely see that card as a literal only meme. And I just added C Dasher Octopuses. Because, you know, that's an extremely powerful play if you have a baby Godzilla and then you can Ivy and then you can double evolve. So, you know, it's better than Scudder Spawn because I don't see Scudder Spawn anything else as just a meme. Plus, if we're being honest, I haven't even played it yet with any, uh, any, remorse, uh, any remote success. And, speaking about success, man, we have not... Oh, finally, we got it. Okay, this is good. If I draw another bluey boy, we actually kind of just insta-win. Because that means Ivy plus dashy boy -o. How do I play... Ooh. Well, he's setting up, so you know what? I think this is fine. I think this is actually fine. <gasps> oh, mega fine. You know what? The finest of fines in the world of fine. Oh, yes. Ivy into Dashy Boy. Oh, this is good. Considering then I will most likely be able to just play a Kitten Harvester for essentially what is Free Boy. Oh, yeah. If he, if he, obviously, if he does the stupid thing with the stupid jail and the stupid things. Oh, he did not, boys! Oh, what a time to be alive. Oh, wow, he's going pretty deep, yo. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand perfectly. And you know what else I understand? It, it's over. It's absolutely over. That's what I understand. Look at this three procs. Yes, take action. And let's go. Ah, uh, that's pretty useful. Oh, uh, what do I want? Black land, probably a little bit more. And oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. And now I can attack and gain things. Oh, another ivy. So. Big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty big. So if he doesn't if he doesn't do something amazing here, I just double kitten harvested it. Oh no, that's not the thing, my my dude. That is not the play. 
I understand you think that that's maybe big, cool, and whatnot, but that's not the play. Also, I can do this, yes. So, uh, 10 out of 10. My octopus just learned to strike first because reasons. What a time to be alive! Ah, uh, never, never doubt the octo, uh, octo boyo. Okay, now I got also this. Wait, what did he do? Oh, he doubled, uh, doubled the trigger. Yeah, that's useless. It only creates another warrior. But anyway, uh, cool, cool beans. Do I block? No, I don't even block. No one cares to play. Uh, this is good. But obviously, this is a little bit more uh, bigly. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Take action. Because reasons. Do the over. Still has first strike, by the way, because of the car a car pot? Cartouch. Yeah, that's right. Cartouch. Admittedly, that's pretty big for him because he can technically ma uh, make this all last for an extended period of time, but... I mean, like, still, come on, dude. Come on, you you really think that this is gonna work out? F well, actually, maybe this does work out for him. Who knows, right? Who knows? Well, no, actually, it does not because this I I can mutate this and well, no, he just he just has that left, and he just concedes. Good times, good times. Go first, all colors of the rainbow, protection, a good card, and an omega play. This is bait. As always, by the way, it's literally always bait when it looks too good. Should I... Black. Uh, colorless? Wait, that only means one thing and one thing only. Oh, wow, this, uh, this is Ugin. Yeah, this is Ugin. Or not? No, this is Ugin. Yeah, this 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 is Ugin o'clock, boys. Okay, okay, okay. So considering that's a thing, I actually think I'm gonna do this as fast as possible, you know? Uh that's gonna be the play. Over and I don't have enough enchantment removal. So, that's gonna be pretty annoying. I actually should have picked a green there, but I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. So, what's my play? Godzilla? Oh, another one. Okay, so yeah, Godzilla. Wait, he didn't play anything! <laughs> ah, he didn't play anything! Oh no, this guy has already lost! Oh, so sad! So sad. Maybe he gets rid of the ivy. Who knows? Oh no. Oh, and the gem grazer. What is this, wizards? Retribution? A rightful retribution? Wait. Oh, because it wants. Oh, okay, got it. That's why it actually allows me to do that. Wrong car. Well, not wrong one, because I can get a green lane from this. And currently, I think I should. Oh, I didn't? Oh, uh, yeah, that's what you commonly refer to as unfair, Vizardukun. But I guess this is fine. Even though this technically does nothing, I guess this is still fine. Take action. Wow, the freest win in the, in the history of freebies. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Over. Um, let's see. What do we get back? That thing? Well, that's only one thing to get back. This is, this is Gren. And... Should I drop it? Yeah, sure. You know what? Why not? Let's drop it. He, he's gonna probably concede anyway, because... What What can he do? What can he do? He got two rel uh, watch towers, reliquary towers. Yeah, reliquary towers. I, he's not having a good time, okay? <laughs> Our boy's not having a good time! <laughs> oh, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Another hand that could potentially be really good, but I go second. It feels like every time we have a good hand, we go second, we just kind of insta lose, you know? So, maybe not the biggest fan. This guy probably will... Oh! You know, yeah, see, this is kind of what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is literally kind of the definition. <laughs> Oh my god, goes first, perfect one drop, instantaneously flips it, curious obsessions, 
I mean, like, damn, wizards. Seriously, can you just, like, give me a message that says, hey, this is a forced loss? Uh, good luck there, champ. Uh, we, we, you could just press the concede button right there, right that second, and save yourself a little bit of time. Because, damn. Oh, Pikachu. Haven't seen the, him in a long time. Okay, three lands, push back. Well, there's no reason to push back, I guess. Okay. So, there's literally nothing I can do now. Most likely, the moment I ghost form this, it gets uh, it just gets pushed back. Or, alternatively, the ghost form just gets counterspelled, because, you know, uh, reasons and stuff. Well, now we actually have a counter to that play, though. Migratory, let's go. At least we draw a card. And technically, we have two hemos. Oh, well, there's the counterspell. Sinister Sabotage of all things unholy also. Okay. Yeah. No, no, seriously, admittedly, de dude, all of my videos currently, unless we make a, like, legitimate S tier deck, and you all know that that's pretty much just life gain at this point, we lose. We just lose, uh, lose every second game. Because it's impossible to win at this point, you know? It's just way, it just seems way too improbable to win. But if he doesn't counterspell this, I still can win. That's the funny part. Nah, quench, obviously. I mean, did you think someone who has a, a Delver turned one and then into a Curious Obsessions has a chance of losing? Man, you don't know what game you're playing if you think that that's even a possibility in reality. So yeah, we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna lose the classic uh, the classic tempo blue way. Uh, he plays a one drop, goes first. Oh, cute, cute, cute! Look at that. Yeah, not good. <laughs> not, no, no, not good at all. Uh, oh, a gin. Good, uh, good old times. Good old times. Okay, so now I literally cannot win. Ooh. I like how he just does the Storm Chaser because he knows that it's completely irrelevant. Uh, most likely he has a pushback now left, so... Ooh. Hmm. Well, I still can't win because, you know, even this doesn't allow me to do it. But... I guess it's something... I think he's just gonna push back, or maybe even double push back. He attacks with everything. Are you sure, Chief? I get this. How could you run out of things to do? You have a 33% land draw ratio while you have a. Ah, there we go. That's unblockable. And wow, this deck is horrible! <laughs> Oh no, this deck is actually just horrible garbage dumpster fires. Oh no! Wizards! Man, why do I need to lose against this garbage? Like, look at this. He has this guy. And this, just so, because it has draw card effects, it's a bad card currently. I don't, I didn't use it in my flyer deck, so why would you? Oh no, this card is real. I mean, so real. Wait a minute. Sure, why not? Well, admittedly, again, not like it makes a difference, because uh, the overkill is just too huge. This is why, uh, again, this is why I don't like the mutates that just buff up one creature, because you need to attach life gain to that creature, or it's or it's completely useless. But it is what it is. Wow, what a time to be alive. Well, what do you think, boys? Pretty good deck. Well, actually, very, very strong deck. If your hand is good and your opponent can't instantaneously deal with it, it's absolutely over. Anyway, this was Kudr Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.